What's up everybody, Chris here with Active Van Conversions. Behind me is our latest van conversion, it being a 2023 Sprinter 144 all-wheel drive in our Jackson 144 floor plan. Let's show you around. Welcome inside. So this is our Jackson 144 floor plan with a slight modification. As you can tell, customer uh, requested a cabinet here with a stand-up fridge and drawer. Nice little countertop space. This countertop also flips up, so crazy amount of cooking space for a 144. So in our Jackson 144, we have a full-size kitchen here, full indoor shower with toilet, fridge, freezer. Uh, typically we put a microwave in our builds, but they opted for a convection oven, which we can do. And in the back, we have a queen size bed sideways with the van speed capsules. So the customer opted for some beautiful finishes in this van. Uh, we did real white oak slats stained uh, with a white wash to match the butcher block countertops. Did a satin black on the lowers and uppers as well as our powder coated black aluminum shower i think this aesthetic is one of the top and going to be one of the most popular finishes that we have in our lineup so on the driver's side we have a full-size indoor shower this customer opted for a 33 inch shower typically in our jackson 144s we do a 30 inch shower, but they wanted the extra space. Here we got the lower cabinet uh, with the drawer and the Dometic ADS fridge freezer. Typically we will put a bench seat here that houses the fridge, fr uh, I guess it would just be a fridge in the Dometic uh, 55 IM, or we can do a third captain's chair here. It's really uh, flexible. We can work with you uh, on any sort of modifications you want to fit your use case. Indoor shower, so 33 inch indoor shower. Customer opted for these really nice white tiles. We do a teak floor. That's all standard in our builds. Um, the toilet is currently not in here right now, but it will go in once the customer takes delivery. And on the passenger side, we have the kitchen. So this is a 40 inch wide kitchen. We do a flip up countertop here. You have uh, three sets of drawers on this side and a drawer for your sink on this side. You have the induction stovetop, single burner, uh, and just really good use of space, especially on a 144. You get this countertop that flips up. And you just have a great workspace here. Alrighty, so in the back, we have a sideways queen size bed. We're able to do that because we put in the van speed capsules. That gives us an additional 12 inches uh, of width here in the bed love how uh, we trimmed out the white oak around the capsules uh, jt did an awesome job scribing those edges and creating that nice modern aesthetic that goes with everything in this van so we have upper cabinets on one side of this van if you as a customer wanted to have cabinets on both sides you're more than welcome to um, the only drawback with that is when you're sleeping sideways your head is then going to be just below that uh, upper cabinet so this couple is actually going to be, their head's going to be on this side. Um, but at night, if you wanted to watch TV on this side, you're probably going to be hanging out uh, on the driver's side. Up top, we have the Nomadic Cooling Co. X3 12 volt air conditioning unit. I absolutely love the housing that is flush to the ceiling, satin black, matches the aesthetic uh, in this van. This also comes in white. Um, if we do like a shiplap ceiling and then behind you we have the max air fan that basically acts as a whole house fan So you will crack a window get a nice cool breeze coming through the van conserve your electricity and Stay comfortable and welcome to the garage. So on this side. We have 36 gallons of fresh water Here is your water fill outdoor shower we include a suction cup attachment that goes right here shower head 
this side is your electrical. Uh, in this van, um, well, in all of our vans, you can equip up to 990 amp hours of lithium. Uh, this particular van is equipped with 300 amp hours, and that is our standard baseline uh, for all of our builds. Here's your electrical box, 3000 watt inverter charger, um, super clean and what we do. So fixed bed, we get a lot of questions if, if people should go with a dinette or fixed bed. So fixed bed application, obviously you have this large garage space. We can put like slide out trays in here, um, whatever you want. I, for me, like I personally like the fixed garage or fixed bed with the garage so you can put all your gear in here, all your toys, uh, organize things with totes, label them. Uh, the advantage with the dinette would be you have more hangout space, right, in the rear. So if you see yourself not hauling a lot of gear and just want like a nice weekend or lounger, uh, that could be a better fit for you. And exterior. So again, this is a 2023 Sprinter 144 all-wheel drive. Absolutely love this color, it being silver gray. We put black brown on wheels as well as the BFG KSU AT tires. Got your light bar up top along with the FBC Low Pro roof rack and the Fiamma F80S awning. We did the FBC side steps. As we come to the rear, we got the van speed capsules here. We color match these, the body. Uh, we can also do these in Linex. Here on the rear doors, we did a bunch of Al Vans products. Got the B2 carrier with the large box and two one-up bike racks there on the horizontal mount. And on this side, you have the Al Vans Expedition tire carrier. Pretty view. <laughs> this side, driver's side, again, you see that van speed capsule and the FEC side ladder along with the FEC side steps. So I'll take you up to the roof and show you the configuration. So here's the roof of the van. So there's 200 watts of solar up here, max air fan, Starlink uh, star mount mount has magnets and this magnetizes to the roof. You can remove this, unplug it, and then we put a another cable spool in the electrical box. You can run it out the rear of the van and put the Starlink somewhere else if you're parked under trees and whatnot. And there's the Nomadic Cooling Co. X3 AC unit. Beautiful view, Donner Lake, gorgeous spring day. Thank you all for watching. This is our Jackson 144 floor plan with some slight modifications. If you want to learn more about us, visit our website at www.activevanconversions.com. Also on Instagram, the dot active with no E at the end of active. We'll see you on the next one.